Hi everyone and welcome back to today's Morning Report on Friday the 12th of February with me, Richard Perry Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Looking at the Euro Dollar chart now and um, Euro Dollar is treated, or the Euro is treated as a bit of a safe haven play. Oil prices rallied on the uh, news of this OPEC possible production cut. And the Euro has fallen, about 40 ticks down on the day, just taking some of the uh, of the gains out of this rise. Now we've seen the... Um, the move higher in this euro chart uh, in the last few days. Uh, I still think it has potential towards the uh, the top of this range, 1465 area. That is the long term range that the euro trade has tr been trading in for the past year. Uh, still think it's got the potential to go towards those highs, but just very near term, it's just seen a bit rolling over. Um, what impact has this had on the chart? Well, nothing too significant yet. Uh, you've got some breakout levels. I'll show you on the intraday hourly chart. You've got these breakout levels around this sort of 1240 area, old highs, and uh, I'd say that's the sort of basis of support now, and it's not even come back towards that yet. Pretty much all it's doing at the moment is just unwinding. Um, you've got what I've noticed uh, in the morning report is a slight sort of deterioration in the hourly momentum, whereby sort of the, the highs of these sort of uh, MACD lines and the RSI didn't match the highs of the price. So that would suggest a slight deterioration, but not yet really turned into anything more substantial than that. Um, I think 1240 is your initial line of support. If you see 1240 broken, then I think that that would be sort of coming under pressure again because you'd be back below all the moving averages, pretty much that... Um, Rising 144 hour moving average would also be a break and broken, sorry. And then you sort of coming back into the realms of this um, 1160 area, which again is this support from uh, a couple of days earlier this week. And 1160 is your near term key sort of important support. The big turnaround sentiment would come on a move below 1085. But at the moment, it just looks like it's unwinding, doesn't it? And it'll be interesting to see if the uh, if the RSI bottoms out or keeps going, so it bottoms out around sort of around or above the 30 level. Seems to be recently that um, gets back to sort of like the mid mid 30s area. I mean, yes, uh, the, the Wednesday correction got back to 30 spot on and then bounced, but at the moment I think it's just an unwinding move rather than anything more significant than that. So it's one to watch, certainly. Um, Euro is under a little bit of pressure. Nothing too significant from this uh, sort of shift in sentiment. But um, I'm still, as I said, I'm still on the uh, on the argument that I think we're going higher. And this is uh, another little near-term correction that's likely to be bought into. But uh, you'd want the support, as I said, to come in around about that 1240 area, if possible. So I wish you good luck in your trading on Euro today, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.